India made a number of bilateral advances at the G7 just concluded here in Puglia in the south of Italy, principally with host Italy, but on the other hand, managed to open its doors wider to a transatlantic dip in relations that could more than undo some of those gains. Prime Ministers Modi and Meloni clearly hit it off and they had the most productive meeting of all the bilaterals that the Indian PM had. On the other end from Meloni, on the down end of the India spectrum at the G7 was none other than the US. US National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan made it clear that the Pannu case would be raised. He said this is a matter of continuing dialogue at very senior levels and that the US has made its views on this known. And in the end, after all the bilateral meetings that happened with Meloni, with Macron, Olaf Scholz, Rishi Sunak, Zelensky, Ishida, the enduring fallout could arise from the one that did not happen with the US. India had announced an inquiry into the Pannu indictment and that was indictment by a grand jury in the US in which an Indian official is accused of leading a criminal plot to assassinate Pannu. Little has emerged as the outcome of any such inquiry. At least four pitfalls lie along that path of continuing delay. One that the Biden administration will just live with such a delay through its uh, present term, all the indications are that it will not. Second, it is not certain that Trump will replace uh, Biden come November. A felony conviction now hangs above Trump. Third, it is not certain either that if Trump is at all elected, his administration uh, would necessarily do more for India as India wants than a Biden administration currently is prepared to do. Finally, and not least, the matter could be out of the hands of any US government. It would become a matter for the courts. They don't spare their own president. We should know soon enough whether the Indian government's uh, current tactics have managed to get it smartly past a mess or whether India has taken some missteps along a path that could prove very damaging to relations with the US. The last hour. Anything can happen between the bells. But what happens during the last hour is what matters the most. The biggest market swings. A close-up look at what's driving them. And how the investors are reacting. Watch the most seasoned market mavens guide you through the most important hour of the trading day. NSE Closing Bell. At these times, only on CNBC TV18 and CNBC TV18.com.